This is a urinary bladder of a male patient. And here we see the prostate below it. And as I move the probe transversely, you see this is the urinary bladder in, uh, sorry, transversely. And now longitudinally, when I move the probe longitudinally, this is the urinary bladder, there is a prostate. And here you will see a tubular structure. This is the urinary bladder, this area. And as I am moving uh, the probe towards the right aortic fossa, I am seeing a tubular structure. This tubular structure, where the patient is tender, positive morphine, and is tender to probe as well. This is the appendix. Measuring 7.9 centimeters in length and approximately uh, 1.45 centimeter in uh, the zero procedure diameter. You can see there is debris within it. Scattered food particles are seen. And uh, now, if you see that both structures, if I take together to show you that uh, this is the urinary bladder and this is the swollen appendix in the region of the right aortic fossa. Patient is extremely tender. And a fecolith. This is a fecolith. And uh, see the lumen and uh, the particles, epogenic particles within it. No layers are seen. Bubble layers are not seen. And uh, full of uh, epogenic material within it. Suspended. So this is a case of uh, acute appendicitis uh, with the fecal lip seen at its medial end. This being the urinary bladder now. Once again in a magnified view, urinary bladder. And uh, here comes the appendix. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is the tipolith, see the lumen, this location, patient tender to probe in this location. And this is uh, our case of the day, thank you very much.